it's rolling. So it is January 1st, 2020. I just got this new camera and I thought it would be cool to have a sort of video journal of the year. You know, uh, document the year 2020 for future generations. I have a feeling that 2020 is going to be unforgettable. So far, pretty good start to the year. Nothing really newsworthy is going on right now. Uh, we're just sitting at home, everyone's happy and healthy, and we got plenty of toilet paper. I, I don't know why I mentioned that. <laughs> Fingers crossed for an epic 2020. January 3rd, 2020. Well, today we found out that the President of the United States, one Donald Trump, ordered the assassination of Iranian General Qasem Soleimani. Soleimani? Mm. We are at the brink of war with Iran over this. It is nuts. And the White House keeps giving vaguer and dumber reasons for why they did this. It's almost as if Trump was trying to deflect the nation's attention away from something that was embarrassing or causing them some sort of trouble. Ah, it's so weird and so scary. 2020 may go down in history as the year the US went to war with Iran. I can't imagine anything more newsworthy than this occurring this year. January 16th, 2020. Wow. So Donald Trump, the president of these United States, just got impeached by the House of Representatives due to his abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. This is historic. 2020 will definitely go down in history as the year Trump was impeached. I can't imagine anything more newsworthy than this occurring this year. Oh, and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle quit the royal family. You can do that? You can just quit a family? Hmm. Well, I can't imagine any other international news outdoing that this year. I tell ya. February 2nd, 2020. Holy cow, Australia is on fire. And when I say that, I don't mean that a part of the outback is burning and only the dingoes give a shit. No, Australia is on fire. From what we can tell, it's like the whole continent. God be with you, Australia. 2020 will definitely go down in history as the year Australia burned. I can't imagine anything more newsworthy than, you know what, I I'll just leave that be. Oh, and that flu-like bug that started in Wuhan, China in December. Uh, it looks like that's under control and won't be spreading any further. So that's good news. <laughs> and they call it coronavirus. It's pretty hilarious, no? I mean, like, can I have a lime to go with my coronavirus? <laughs> crazy year, man. Just a crazy year. <sighs> March 3rd, 2020. The stock market is in the shitter right now. But, like, that's really only affecting people who can afford to put money in the stock market. So, you know, whatever. But what caused the plummet is probably a little scarier. The World Health Organization has declared that the coronavirus, or COVID-19 as it's now known, to be a full-blown pandemic. Millions infected, tens of thousands of deaths, and it looks like it's already made it to the U.S. Toilet paper, Clorox wipes, milk, bread, and eggs are sold out across the country due to panic buying, and apparently people's love of French toast. The good news today, though, is that after 47 million acres were burned up in Australia, it looks like the fires are finally under control now. I mean, whoa, I can't imagine any massive devastating fires like that taking place in the States. We'd be f***ed. April 4th, 2020. So the U.S. is in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic now. I've been working from home for the past two weeks. Uh, it'll probably all blow over in another week or two. Trump said we'd be able to go to Easter service and shit, no problem. I mean, he's telling people not to even bother wearing masks, despite the CDC and the World Health Organization saying we have to. <laughs> Who can he trust if not the president, huh? He even said we can probably self-cure ourselves from the corona by either shooting up with bleach or shoving a light bulb up our butts. I'll let you know. April 5th, 2020. It didn't work. The light bulb broke and the bleach kind of made me throw up for about seven hours straight. 
I'm gonna start wearing a mask too. Who'd have thought that a failed businessman who paid someone to take his SATs for him and who constantly rambles on and on with a toddler's vocabulary would be wrong about this deadly disease? I mean, he said he has a very, very large a brain. God in heaven, I just hope he doesn't get the chance to forever change any of the three branches of the American government with his extreme partisanship or stupidity. I'm going to go lay down now. May 2nd, 2020. Oh my God. Did you know that there were things called murder hornets out there? What dark sorcery is this? Is somebody playing Jumanji? Hurry up and finish playing that game, man. We need the rock here now. Most restaurants and stores are closed right now. 30 million people have lost their jobs. Tens of thousands of people are being diagnosed with COVID-19 and hundreds are dying every day in the US alone. Most countries are in complete lockdown mode and I haven't gotten a haircut in three months. I mean, geez, it's, it's really starting to get shaggy now. Ah, oh, 2020, what have we done to deserve this? Well, oh, I can think of a few things actually. June 10th, 2020, holy <laughs> Well, California and Washington, and I think Oregon are all on fire. The smoke is blanketing a huge portion of the continent and making San Francisco look like it's taking place in Blade Runner 2049. It's all orange and stuff. And something happened in the Mariana Trench, some sort of volcano or something from the deepest part of the ocean. The scientists aren't sure, and they're all too busy with COVID, the aforementioned climate change, the murder hornets, and everything else to really look into it. I mean, Jesus, I think this is it. The end times. I mean, what the hell else can happen? July 2nd, 2020. Yeah. Those scientists should have been looking into that Mariana Trench thing. Turns out that the ancient Atlanteans and the crab people teamed up to annihilate the surface world for all the pollution and other bad shit we humans have been doing over the years. Well, Japan was the Colosseum for the battle of the century with those assholes. But it turns out that giant Gundam statue they built was really an actual honest to God piloted mecha suit. Too bad it blew up and took out most of the Korean peninsula with it. The good news is that the invaders saw the rest of the shit that we were dealing with and retreated to the hollow earth to wait a few years before they came back. So we have that going for us, but we still have those murder hornets. Those damn murder hornets. July 8th, 2020. The good news today is that we were finally able to find toilet paper in a store. We had to resort to using hand towels over a month ago. Don't judge us. The bad news today is that Trump pulled the US out of the World Health Organization. In the middle of the worst pandemic since 1918, he did it in order to, and I quote, screw them libs. We're all f***ed. August 15th, 2020. You know what I miss most? Movies. Going to the f***ing movies with friends. It was such a simple thing. Anyway, that super volcano in Yellowstone erupted, covering a third of the country in lava, ash, and smoke. You know what? Just, let's just call August off. I just, I, I just, I just can't anymore. September 20th, 2020. Well, California is on fire. Again. This time due to a baby gender reveal gone wrong. Well, or right, if the baby is revealed to be the Antichrist. We're still waiting on news about that. And Supreme Court Justice and women's rights trailblazer Ruth Bader Ginsburg died. <sighs> the good news here is that the repubes in Congress have already laid out the precedent that in an election year, no president should be able to pick the next justice if a seat on the court opens up. So at least that's good. Hmm. October 1st, 2020. Well, some supervillain appeared. Yeah, we have those now. And he used some sort of weather dominator to make it rain inside. So now it rains inside. All. The time. And of course the repubes ignore their own words from four years ago and are working with Trump to push an unqualified candidate through to the Supreme Court. Now, this is true. The religious cult that this candidate, Amy Coney Barrett, is in 
was the basis for The Handmaid's Tale. That's the story where women are just like submissive property of men and only meant to do their bidding and get pregnant. So she is like the anti-Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And before I forget, just be careful and never say his name. Candlejack is back. I'm going to need more room. November 19th, 2020. You like my hair? Haven't had a haircut in like eight or nine months now due to not wanting to die by COVID. I've gone full man fay. I know. And of course, COVID is still around. Why wouldn't it be? And there's a huge upspike in activity to boot, but at least the colder weather killed the murder hornets. We think. They're probably just burrowing into people to survive the winter though. We're not sure. So it's been like three weeks since Trump lost the election, but he still refuses to concede despite the fact that he lost by over 6 million popular votes and 74 electoral votes. And now he's getting his minions to chant that he actually won to anybody who'll listen. And he's suing states in order to get them to throw out votes for Biden. So the country's now broken. Great. Other than that, a couple more meteors, or is that meteorites, have hit the earth, wiping out half of Europe and half of Russia. And apparently a few of them contain some sort of alien spores that have started turning the survivors into pod people. Don't worry, I'm sure the next thing will kill those abominations off. And did I mention yet that Alex Trebek, Chadwick Boseman, Sean Connery, and Eddie Van Halen died? Yeah. F*** you, 2020. December 14th, 2020. Wow, that movie, Anna and the Apocalypse, was actually a pretty prophetic Christmas movie. All the celebs that we've lost this year have come back from the dead and are eating their biggest fans. I didn't see that one coming. Y you know, it's, it's whatever. Oh, and the seas have started boiling. Not quite sure what's going on there. I guess we'll wait and see what that's building up to. The season finale of 2020 should be pretty damn spectacular. December 31st, 2020. I have to be really quiet now. Some holes resurrected Cthulhu, and now all the ancient ones are destroying the eastern seaboard. Uh, at least they put out the wildfires caused by the nukes that the remaining Russian government accidentally dropped on us. But still, I did not think that 2020 was going to be the gateway year to a millennial reign of darkness and dread. Uh, after June, I did think that, just not in this manner. <laughs> I still laugh when I hear that. Not because it means that the beast has feasted on another thousand innocent souls, but just cause it sounds like Godzilla. I mean, it's kind of kooky. Anyway, the zombie hordes have either all been killed or rotted enough that you can hear them coming a mile away, so they're no big threat anymore. 2021 is looking pretty good right now. Here's hoping that next year is a brighter year. I mean, figuratively brighter. Nothing will be brighter than those nukes. Peace out. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and all or lang syne? For all lang syne, my dear, for all lang syne, we'll take a cup. I'm gonna need more rope.